Hello and welcome to Quick Tips, the search engine optimization video series. In this video, I'm going to discuss about the on-page SEO checklist. I'll show you what are the points to be considered for the on-page SEO on your WordPress website. So in this example, I'm going to use the WordPress website. Here, I'm logged into one of the WordPress website, which is a technical blog. I have this blog running for more than 12 years and I'm not currently working on this blog. However, many posts on this website are still ranking higher in the Google search results. So let's go to one of the posts here. I'm going to open it, go to edit. Now the first thing that I'll suggest you for any WordPress website is to install an SEO plugin. There are many different plugins. However, I'll suggest you to go for Yoast SEO plugin or rank map seo plugin both these seo plugins have free version so you can install the free version and that will help you to improve the on-page seo score of your wordpress blog i have already published a video on free as well as the premium yoast seo plugin and i have also published a video on how to use the rank map seo free and premium plugin i'll give you the link in the description box if you want to know how does this work so on this blog, I have installed the Yoast SEO plugin. At the bottom, you will see the Yoast SEO premium plugin. The free version is also good. So the first point to be considered is the focus keyword. So you're going to write an article about this focus keyword and your entire article will be around this focus keyword. In this example, this is the focus keyword of this blog post. Links is AC1200 setup. This is a technical blog about the wireless routers and this is the keyword around which this article is written. So this is my focus keyword for this blog post. Now when you install the SEO plugin, you can add the SEO title as well as the meta description. So, so these are the two basic requirements of your on-page SEO. So the first point will be define your focus keyword and use that focus keyword in the SEO title as well as the meta description. So here you will see we have the SEO title and in the SEO title I have included the focus keyword. So in the beginning of the SEO title, I have used the focus keyword and you will see the same focus keyword in the meta description also. So the SEO title and the meta description will be used by the crawlers, the Google crawler or any other search engine crawler as the title and description about this particular blog post. So it is very important to use the SEO title and meta description for the search engine crawlers. So this is the first point, define your focus keyword and use the focus keyword in SEO title and meta description. Now let's go to the content of your blog post. So this is the content of the blog post. So the second point is to use the focus keyword in the H1 tag or the title of your blog post. Let me show you how this blog post looks. So this is the blog post. Let me click on view blog post. And this is the H1 title. It is at the very beginning of the blog post. So at the top, I have this H1 title. You will see it here. This is the H1 title. So whenever you start writing any blog article, use the H1 title in the beginning of your blog post. And in this H1 title, use the focus keyword. You will see again the focus keyword is in the beginning of the H1 title. Now it really depends on which theme you are using. In many themes, you will get the title by default in the beginning of the blog post. In this theme, I have customized the theme and writing the H1 title manually in each article. In your theme, you can disable the title and manually add the title of the blog post in H1 heading in the beginning of the blog post. All right, so this is the second point. Use the focus keyword in the beginning of your blog title and use the H1 heading tag for that title. Now the next point is to use the focus keyword in the initial paragraph of your blog article. So whenever you write a blog, you're going to write the first paragraph and make sure that the focus keyword will appear in the first paragraph of your blog article. It is not necessary. It should be in the beginning of the first paragraph. You can add that anywhere in the first paragraph of your blog article. The next point is the URL should also contain the focus keyword. Now this is the focus keyword 
and if I go to post you will see that the focus keyword is there in the URL of this blog article so this is the domain this is the blog and this is the URL of this particular post you will see the same focus keyword is added in the URL if you do not have it you can simply click on it and you can add your focus keyword in the URL now the next point is to make sure that the URL is not too big keep your URL short I prefer to use only the focus keyword in the URL so in this example I have this focus keyword and it is in the URL and it is pretty simple it is not too big just keep it simple for example this is the entire title so I'm not going to use the entire title of this blog post in the URL I'm going to keep it short the next point is use your focus keyword in h2 and h3 tag so you're going to write an article which will be big enough to have h2 and h3 tags for example here I have the h1 tag at the top of the article then if I scroll down you will see some subheadings are there this one is h2 this one is h3 then we will have some h4 tags also so in the subheadings also try to use the focus keyword not too many times but try to use it in some subheadings of your blog article for example here you will see the focus keyword is in the h2 tag also so we have it in h1 tag then we have it in h2 tag also and if I go to H3 tag, you will see the same focus keyword is added in the H3 tag also. So in the heading as well as in the subheading, I have the same focus keyword. If you think that you are overstuffing the focus keyword in the subheadings or headings, then you can try using the synonyms of the focus keyword. For example, here you have Linksys AC12 D00 setup. This is the focus keyword. You can use the synonym like how to set up Linksys AC1200 router or installation of Linksys AC1200, something like that. The next point is about keyword density. Your focus keyword should appear in different sections of your blog article. So that doesn't mean that you need to stuff your focus keyword everywhere on your blog article. There should be some limit of stuffing the keyword in your article. Now, if you are using the SEO plugin on your website, it will give you an idea about the keyword density. Here we have the Yoast SEO plugin. If I open this analysis, you will see the keyword density option is there. The key phrase was found 10 times. That is great. So this is the key phrase. And it says that this key phrase was found 10 times in this article. So it will give you a limit of using the key phrase in the article. Now let's see this article is around 1600 words. The limit of using the key phrase is 15 times. So I have used the keyword less than 15 times. However, if it goes beyond the limit, it will give you warning that you have used this key phrase more than the limit. So in that case, you will need to remove the key phrase from your article. Now here, if I click on this eye icon, it will show where the keyword is appearing on your article. So this is where it shows the keyword. Again, if I go here, you will see the keyword again. This is the keyword. So these free plugins will help you improve the on-page SEO score. It will give you the idea about the keyword density, how many times you need to use that key phrase in the article. Next point is optimize images. So in your article, you should use the images. And while uploading the images, you need to make sure that you are using the alt tag for that image. All right, so this is one of the image in this article. And when I click on this image and go for the settings of the image, you will see that I have used the key phrase as the alt text for this particular image. So make sure that whenever you upload the image, it should have the alt text and try to use the key phrase or the synonyms of the key phrase as alt text. If I go to the second image here, you will see that I have used the alt text for this image and it also has the key phrase. If I go here, this is the synonym of key phrase. So all these images have the alt text. If you are using heavy images, then try to install plugins which will reduce the size of your image, but it will not decrease the quality of your image. By using these plugins, it will also increase the page speed. 
you can use the plugin such as Smush Pro. I have a separate video on how to use the Smush plugin. It will reduce the file size of the image and there are some other plugins also. The next point is to use the external links in your article. Now this is the article about Linksys router and I have included a link that will go to the Linksys website. All right, so here you will see that I have included a link which is going to linksys.com website, which is an external link going to other website. So make sure that you have at least one external link going to other website. Now, if I go here in the Yoast SEO, you will see that it is also a point to be considered in Yoast SEO. This is the first point. You will see the first point here, outbound link. Good job. So if you add an external link going to other website, you will see it here. If you do not add it, it will suggest you to add the external link. Next option is internal link. So you need to add a link which will go to the other blog post or any other page on the same website. So you need to internally link these pages and blogs. If I go here, I have some internal links also. This is one of the internal links. This link is going to another blog post on the same website. Now here I'm using Yoast SEO premium plugin. And in the premium plugin, there is an option of internal linking suggestion. It will give you the suggestion about which pages you or the post you can link from this blog post. If you do not have pro plugin, you can also go for a third party plugin for the internal link suggestion. The name of the plugin is Link Whisperer. I have a video published on how to use the free Link Whisperer plugin. I'll give you the link in the description box. And the next point is make sure that your website is mobile friendly. It should work properly on the mobile devices also. Here I'm using Astro theme for this blog, which is compatible with the mobile devices, which is a responsive website theme. So make sure that the theme that you are using is mobile responsive. If I go here, you will see an option to see how does this look on the mobile devices. And this is how it will look on the mobile devices. So it is mobile friendly website. Another point is to consider about adding table of contents on your website. So if the visitor is looking for a particular point on your website, they can simply go to that particular point from the table of content. For example, on this blog post, we have a table of content and I want to see the features of this particular device. Then I can click on it and it will go directly to that particular section of this blog post. So this is another point that you can consider while creating a blog article. Now let's see how does this post work in the search result. So I'm going to open Google search in incognito and I'll go to this post and this is the focus keyword for this particular blog post. So I'm going to search for the same focus keyword in the Google search. The first website is from linksys.com. And here on the first page of the Google search results, you will see this website is ranking. Now it is not only the on-page SEO, which is helping me to get this website on the first page of the Google search results. There are many different factors that need to be considered while working on SEO. Apart from on-page SEO, you need to consider about technical SEO, backlinking to your website and the content authority. So we will go through these SEO points one by one. In the upcoming videos, we will discuss about the technical SEO for the WordPress website. So to improve the on-page SEO on your WordPress website, you can consider installing the SEO plugins such as Yoast SEO and Rank Map SEO. So that's it for now. See you in the next video. Do not forget to subscribe to my channel to get more quick tips about online softwares and tools. If you have any questions, please leave us message in comment section and press the like button if you like the video. Thanks for watching quick tips.